welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Our show this week takes Bill and his film crew to beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's early January when, during the colder months, Virginia Beach fishing really slows down offshore. So all rods and reels point inshore towards the famous Virginia Beach striper fishing. Striper fishing here has become such a big event that the city now hosts the largest striper fish tournament in the nation. Virginia Beach itself is best known as a resort with miles of pristine beaches and hundreds of hotels, motels, and restaurants along its oceanfront. Actually, the city is listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as having the longest pleasure beach in the world. Virginia Beach is also home to several state parks, three military bases, the Hampton Road Naval Museum, two universities, and numerous interesting historic sites. The striped bass, or striper, one of the most avidly pursued of all coastal sport fish, is native to most of the East Coast, ranging from the lower St. Lawrence River in Canada to northern Florida and along portions of the Gulf of Mexico. Striped bass can live up to 40 years and reach weights greater than 100 pounds, although individuals larger than 50 pounds are rare. Most stripers over 30 pounds are female. Thus the term bulls, originally coined to describe extremely large individual fish, has been more accurately changed to cows in recent times. Today, Bill is teaming up with his good friend and top-notch Virginia Beach guide, Captain Mike Standing of Waterman Sport Fishing. There's your birds. What you call those birds? Gannets. Gannets? Yes, sir. They can dive up to 80 feet down. And if you accidentally hook one and you bring them on the boat, they smell like fish. Fish right now are about 50 feet down. Cast the head of the boat and let them jiggle them down. How deep? Right on the bottom here. Straight down. There he is. Got him on. Look at him. Come right in my backyard and hook him right up. Showing us up, Mr. Dance. Have I got a hook in that bait? We, get, we gave you a rubber hook. We couldn't let you show us up. Look at that. <laughs> you say you think these are stronger than fresh water? I'm going to say these little salt water are a little tougher. Yeah, I've heard they are. Especially when the water gets cooler. Ooh, look at that now. You can see them way down there. You got a big one on there. Good job. Nice fish. There you go. Boy, that's a pretty fish. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Mikey, let's see what you can do. You want me to hold you? Wow. Look at the size of that. 45 pounds. He feels like he weighs 60 pounds. <laughs> oh, well, he's 49 inches. Oh. Look at that. Puts one rod over and bam, there he is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pretty work. See ya. Woo! Pretty work. That was sweet. Nice fish there. You catch stripers here year round? Yes, sir. In other words, is there a peak time for your bigger stripers? The biggest stripers are from November to March. November to March. So we're fishing at a prime time. Prime time right now. How far north will they go? Oh, boy, they, they're all the way up to Maine, up and above. Will they go way on up toward Greenland? No, nah, I don't know about that, but they'll, <laughs> but they'll make their way up to Maine and Massachusetts. The wonderful thing about Virginia Beach is fish are coming out of the bay, out of the Chesapeake Bay. They're also migrating, following the bait to the south. So where we are right now is the intersection of the Chesapeake Bay and the northern boundary up the eastern shore in Maryland, and they all converge here, right here off Virginia Beach, and, and this is exactly where they meet. There's the bay, and there's the eastern shore there. There you go, got them on. Whoa!
You know, I like this. <laughs> you want a belt? No. I'm going to get right against there this. There you go. And hang on. There's a hit on that rod. You got to get one of the jig. There we go. Look at that middle rod going. I think I've got that. I've got that line. I think. Okay. Tell you what, these are smooth reels. I like these. They are great reels. Yes, they are. Yeah, these drag systems are super. Unbelievable. What are they like? A six to one retrieve. Man, this gets you out of breath. I'm ready to go jigging for tunas on these. You got, you got two fish on? There we go. Look at two hands over here. What do you think? Think mine's bigger than yours? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Woo! You might have got us for the day with that 45 pounder you got earlier. I don't know if we're going to beat that. That was a good one. That was a pretty one. Oh, I got a whale on here, it looks like. Of course, they always look bigger underwater. Oh, look at that. How big is that? 15? You got a nice one there. I think you like chartreuse and white, don't you? Yes, sir. You ever seen a... That boy. Reach over the rail of the boat. <laughs> Ooh. Got him double hooked, I think. No. Hold on, Bill. Woo! This is fine, fine, fine. Hello. Get my thumb out of his mouth. See, but. Woo! Mike, <laughs> you can't get any better than this. Man. Woo! Wait a minute, Bill. Let me fix that for you. Oh, you comb the jig? Yes, sir. We got to make it look pretty in the water. Now, these are homemade jigs, right? Yes, sir. I don't comb my hair, but I comb my jigs. Does that make a difference to the fish? It makes it look pretty and slick going through the water. A big old male striper likes it. <laughs> That's right. Tell me a little bit about this bait. It's kind of a homemade bait that you, you got rigged here. This is a six ounce custom parachute rig. We either use, typically use white hair or chartreuse and we'll rig it with a nine inch shad with a nine hot trailer hook. You just slide it through there, throw it through the other trailer hook, tie it on and you're in business. So you're going through the eye of that, tra that trailer hook, right? Yes, sir. You ready? Got them on. <laughs> that was quick. How far will these things migrate south? You know, Hatteras is about, about about as much as I know of. I think, you know, sometimes they'd get them in Moorhead, but the past few years they seem to be staying in Virginia the most, most put the brakes on here in Virginia. Well, here you come. What's that, about 50 miles south of here? Yes, sir. That's oh, a, you got a little baby. That's a youngster. You think of that, Mike? <laughs> I think that's just fine. <laughs> See ya. Is there a size and a creel limit? out here in the ocean? Yes, 28 inches and up is the size and you're allowed two fish per person, per day. That's it hit. 
Ooh, you shouldn't have let me take this one because I think we might have the biggest one of the day. Well, that's all right. You catch it. And I'm not kidding. I'm about hey, this. I've had fun. I'm happy as a rabbit in a lettuce bed. Oh, my land. Let me ask you something. Are you ticklish? <laughs> I don't know. Do you get tickled? <laughs> I don't know, but I think I grabbed the one that was the furthest out. I can tell you that. <laughs> I let about 75 yards of line out, and then I put it in the holder and I let another 25 yards out. No, I didn't. I let out a little bit of line. See him up there on the top. A lot of times these big fish are cruising along the top, Bill. And, uh, these top water baits will really get the, sometimes get the larger fish, which might be the case here. Pull him, boy, pull him. No wonder you didn't want to take this one. <laughs> when you get him in closer, let me look at him. If he's over 50, I'll take him. <laughs> we'll hand him right over. We'll hand him right over to you. I tell you what, we got a nice fish here. Here comes the man, the magical. Old, old faithful behind me. He's always taking care of me. That Mikey does it all, doesn't he? Runs the boat. He's a good man. All right. All right, he liked the white this time. You want me to net the fish for I you, Mike? I think so. Don't miss him, we won't eat tonight. Bring him to me. I can't get him. Pull him in the net. There we go. I can't get him over the boat. Whoa, what a fish. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Look at that. Now, is that, it, that's Manhattan. You know, I ain't much left of them. I don't know what the heck. Let's taste it. I'm not putting that in my mouth. How big is that striper? This is a, this a 40 pounder here. Man. Nice fish. All right, let's be gentle with this baby here. That is the hardiest fish. You said the predominant forage here that these stripers feed on, the number one forage is Menhaden. Yes, sir. Uh, what makes this forage so good? It is a nasty, oily fish. Rates high in protein? High protein. How big do those do, do they grow? Yeah, six, eight inches. I think six, probably eight. a little bigger, but that's a, that's a nice size one there. Are they basically filter feeders that they feed yeah. on plankton? Yes, they do. Um, they're great. They're great for the Chesapeake Bay. They help clean the bay out and um, we need them around. Got a fish on. You're showing me up again, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know how big I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna, it's a fish. <laughs> here you go, Mikey, is another school right here. Look at the birds. A fun day on the ocean. Ah, not bad. What do you consider not bad? I love every single one of the fish. But a trophy fish is going to be around 50 pounds here. A trophy fish? Yes, sir. Well, that one right there is going to take him a long time to yeah. get there. <laughs> they grow pretty quick, though. You've done that a few times, Ed. Yeah. There we go. How much is that in one? This is about 18 pounds right here. 18? 18. See ya. Today's fishing tip is brought to you by Lowrance and the new HDS High Definition Systems. Exceptional fish finding detail at greater depths, superior high definition mapping, bright and even easier to use. Get Lowrance and seize the day. The bull shark is a popular saltwater game fish in the southeastern United States. But interestingly, it's also the only shark species that occurs in freshwater. Likely their entire life cycle doesn't occur within a freshwater system but they've been seen in numerous river systems and some freshwater lakes. Bulls have been sighted in the U.S. as far up the Mississippi River as Illinois. 
How would you classify this as a world-class fishery? Number one. In fact, in, uh, it was an international publication rated this as Virginia Beach is the top place to be fishing for striped bass in the world right there this time of year. I know you got San Francisco Bay. You've got select areas, you know, around the country that produce uh, big rock fish, but this would be the number one place by far. Yeah, in fact, we're, we're all boat, boats that bring their operations from New Jersey to North Carolina all come here in the winter time to bring all the customers here because it's such a great fishery. One on that one. Whoa! Now, this is a good. One. You got a good one there now, don't you? This one feels like a mule. <laughs> A Tennessee mule <laughs> from Moore County. That's where they used to have mule days. Tennessee mule. It feels like one. Yeah, you got a nicer fish there. Well, he feels big. I got him on his 30 class rod. He's in back. We don't want Mr. Dance not to like these stripers. You better back up, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not gaining on this one. Yeah, you got, I think we put that one in Egypt for you when we laid her out there. There you go. That's a nice fish. This 30-class uh, Boca, of course, that last one was on that 40, on that 40-class rod. Of course, he feels bigger because this rod's a lighter action. But he is bigger. He He's did. bigger than the last few I've caught. I think he's down there on the North Carolina line. <laughs> I'm not gaining on him, I'll tell you that. I have not gained 10 feet on him. Bill, you think you're going to get him in by the end of the show? I don't believe it. It might be dark by the time I get him in. <laughs> Y'all tune in again next week and we'll show you how to keep if we landed him or not. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at him stripping. Ooh, she's ripping some line. He took about 15, 20 yards of line. I mean, he just, he peeled it off that reel. <laughs> Look, at, Look at him pull it. I'd like to see him. Oh, yeah, look down there in that water. I see chartreuse. I see something. Big as a bed sheet. I'm always driven it. Look at him go with it. Take that pole. Look at him. <laughs> Whoa. That rod's got good action, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. That drag is what I'm impressed with. We'll keep this one for dinner. I tell you what, we could put him on the table and everybody could eat around him. A stubborn little thing. Not as big as the first one, but it's a nice one. Woo! Bro. Oh, ah. that's a fat one. Sonny, Jim. How big do you think he is? Oh, that one's gonna 40 go, something. That one's going to go 40 pounds. And we got to throw that one overboard. I can barely hold him up. Look at that. Woo! Yeah, we're going to let him go for maybe. Here he goes. We'll get him 50 pounds. Folks, this is something you got to try. And that's the man you got to get with right there. Striper standing is what they call it. <laughs> How many of those things have you caught in your life? Huh? A few. A few, few 10,000 of them. <laughs> now for
for this week's Bill Dance Saltwater Travel Log. Beautiful Virginia Beach is located in Virginia on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. The nearest airport is Norfolk International, about 25 minutes from the ocean front. We highly recommend our super guide for today's trip, Captain Mike Standing of Waterman Sport Fishing. Accommodations were generously provided by the Best Western Oceanfront, Virginia Beach. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.